What's up, Comic Frontline? It's Mr. J here with some breaking news. So, fresh from D23 Expo, uh, from, I guess, I think it was a couple, a few days ago. I don't know the exact date this was announced, but as part of D23 Expo, we got some uh, Disney Parks news, and Star Wars fans, you have a huge reason to go to Disneyland. I know I do, because it was announced that Disney, um, that both Disney parks will be getting a massive update from a galaxy far, far away. That's right, folks. We're getting it. We are getting Star Wars land in the Disney parks. Hell yes. Hell yes. Now, um, I was reading an article, um, uh, in Entertainment Weekly talking about this uh, in more detail and some of the um, you know new updates to this park which I'm assuming will be a part of Tomorrowland I don't know if it's gonna be like its own separate park connected to Tomorrowland because Space Mountain is a part of this uh, new Star Wars park or are they kind of rebranding Tomorrowland I there's not really that much specifics at least as far as I know, but uh, I know some of the details they gave is they're expanding Star Tours, they're giving new locations, including some of the characters from uh, Star Wars Episode 7, The Force Awakens, um, some of the sets that we get to interact with in this new Star Wars uh, section um, is, of course, Moss Eisley. We get to see the cantina, which is going to be fucking awesome. Um... You know, uh, like I was talking about earlier, Space Mountain will be um, kind of updated, and it, be, um, it will be renamed Hyperspace Mountain. Very cool. Very cool indeed. And, you know, there's a lot of cool concept art for it uh, that they showed at D2, D23 Expo. Um, you know, one of the images um, is, of course, the one I used as the thumbnail. Um, now, I honestly hope that Tomorrowland... Uh, isn't completely taken out. I doubt Tomorrowland will be completely uh, wiped because Tomorrowland is one of the most uh, one of the most popular parks in both Disney parks. Um, so I doubt that it's going to be completely just rebranded like you know they did with Universal and Harry Potter Land. But I feel like they're just going to expand Tomorrowland to add this Star Wars um, theme park you know section here, which is freaking amazing because i mean yeah disney is really selling the the star wars stuff here especially if you uh, if you've been to the parks recently you see a whole lot of uh you know jedi mickey darth goofy you know the jedi academy show is really popular over there um it's really cool um and you know, obviously there's going to be like more shows and interaction, interactive pieces. Like, like he, um, like they said, there's going to be a, you know, a cantina, Isley, and and Moss Isley. That's going to be freaking awesome. You you get to see firsthand the place where Han shot first, um, and you'll get to. There's going to be a ride, a simulator where you get to, you know, interact with the rebels during a key battle in uh, the Star Wars universe. You know, hopefully I'm crossing my fingers, maybe it's Yavin 4. Who knows? Um, I'm really excited for this as a Star Wars fan and as a Disney Parks fan. You know, I've been there, you know, quite a few times and I am super excited by this news. I mean, we already knew this was kind of happening. They already, there were already like talks about it very early on when you know, and a lot of people were thinking that as soon as Star, you know, they got the rights for Star Wars. But to hear that it's officially confirmed is amazing. I can't wait to see just them like really bringing the world to life, and you get to like maybe you know walk across the sands of Tatooine, or you know get to you know get to meet some Ewoks, get to meet some Ewoks, you know see some ATATs, pilot an X-wing. Or even a TIE Fighter. I would, I would settle for piloting a TIE Fighter. I mean, dude. <sighs> that would, You don't know. You don't even know how much I'm holding back my geek out here. 
like the the awesomeness for this is off the charts i i can't even begin to describe what i'm imagining for this park and uh, that's going to be one of the biggest stops next time i go to disneyland by the time this um you know this update is finished which probably won't be for a few more years probably in time for probably the uh the second installment for the star wars trilogy they'll probably have it done by then but still freaking awesome can't wait i'm really excited as a star wars fan and as a disney fan but uh let me know are there any other disney park fans out there that are just as excited about this news as I am. Uh, let me know in the comments below. As always, don't forget to like this video. To let me know you enjoyed it. Subscribe to Comment Frontline if you haven't already. And don't forget all the links to Comment Frontline social media, as well as my social media and individual YouTube channel, will be in the description below. And don't forget, you can listen to us on the go on iTunes. Look for our, our stuff on there. You can find links to that on anywhere with the Frontline banner. So definitely go check that out. Well, this has been Mr. J with Frontline Breaking News. Peace, Disney fans, and may the Force be with you.